five biggest lottery scandals that rocked the industry. From hacking the system from within to tampering with the temperature of the drawing balls, some people are willing to go to extreme lengths to rig the lottery. Scandals are bound to follow these individuals who ill-advised cleverness and schemes got them in big trouble. So millionaires, keep watching to discover the five biggest lottery scandals that rocked the industry. You won't believe how far these individuals were willing to go to put their hand on the big prize. Let's get right into it. Number five, Triple Six Fix, Pennsylvania, 1980. Nick Perry and his confidants, the Margos brothers, were the masterminds behind a staggering $3.5 million lottery scam. It was such an elaborate scheme that Hollywood made a movie about it called Lucky Numbers. But how did they manage to pull it off in front of six million viewers without getting caught immediately? Nick Perry was a broadcasting pioneer and a loved radio figure in the 70s and 80s. Alongside brother Jack and Peter Margos, Perry hosted the nighttime TV lottery drawing on WTAE Channel 4. The trio elaborated a supposedly bulletproof plan to cheat the lottery machine and force it to draw only two sets of balls, the sixes and the fours. They used unusual methods to weigh down the rest of the balls and increase the chances of the fours and the six being drawn. In other words, they made sure to up their odds of winning by choosing the correct three-digit number, a combination of sixes and fours. Therefore, they ended up with eight possible number combinations that they could choose from while crediting it all to luck. Nick Perry and the Margos brothers weren't the only ones on this. They had the aid of one of their own, WTAE art director and craftsman, Joseph Bach. His mission was to find a way to weigh the balls enough not to get sucked out by the Lotto Machine's vacuum tube, but to also float in the air and avoid suspicion. He tried multiple powders and paints and eventually found a solution latex-covered ping-pong balls. Then it was a matter of manipulating the balls for Perry. However, local bookmarkers and an anonymous person from a Philadelphia-based bar called the authorities, and Perry and his group were arrested. Nick Perry only got two years of jail time. Not enough in my opinion. It can't get any crazier than this, right? Well, you'll be surprised, so keep watching. Number four, the man on the inside, 2017. Eddie Raymond Tipton is one of the few men who can say they tricked the lottery five times before getting caught. Tipton was the Information Security Director of the Multi-State Lottery Association, an agency that supervises all lottery dealings in the United States. He was also a skilled programmer. Tipton was a trusted employee who had special access to the draw room, which staff members can only access and be accompanied by a contracted auditor or security. But his special access to the draw room wasn't the only factor in his ability to rig the game. He wrote software, handled the cybersecurity aspect of the business, and could effortlessly mess with the security camera footage, which he did to avoid detection. Tipton had virtually all the tools to rig the drawings, so he got to work. As he later confessed, I wrote software that included code that allowed me to predict winning numbers technically. I gave those numbers to other individuals, who then won the lottery and shared those winnings with me. Not long after, he performed the famous stunt of arranging a winning lottery for his brother Tommy, who won a Colorado lottery ticket jackpot prize of $569,000. Although he put it so simply, Tipton's methods were advanced. He created and installed a highly advanced rootkit program that self-destructs when the job's done. After the 2005 incident, he, with the help of his brother Tommy and friend Robert Rhodes, proceeded to pocket more stolen lottery money throughout five different states. Wisconsin, Colorado, Iowa, Oklahoma, and Kansas. They went on for five years without detection until December 2010, when Tipton secretly had a lawyer claim the hot lotto jackpots that's worth 18.5 million. However, not so long after, the lawyer withdrew his claim from the jackpot, which was more than enough to alert the authorities. And after years of denying his involvement in any of the crimes pointed at him, Tipton finally admitted to everything he did in 2017 and is now doing a 25-year jail sentence. Number 3. Blindfolded Children, Milan, 1995-99 The Milan scandal is regarded as one of the biggest lottery scandals in Europe. A colossal amount of $174 million was stolen in lottery money, and nine people were involved and arrested as a result. It lost a lot more money than the notorious triple six fix did. The Milan Lotto used a traditional way when drawing their numbers. They had children wearing blindfolds and told them which numbers to choose from a group of silver balls and a spinning drum. As innocent as it might seem, 
This method was an opportunity for corrupt individuals, scammers, and mafia members to tamper with the balls, on top of using the children to earn their cheaters' money. Their approach involved bribing children to identify the winning numbers and squint through their blindfolds when they found the winning ball. They also went to rather extreme means when tampering with the lottery balls. They marked, froze, heated, and even sprayed them with a glossy coating so that the children could identify the winning balls easily. Following this huge scandal, lottery sales in Italy dropped considerably. Since then, the public has made many requests to transfer the drawing process from human hands to a computer system that automatically draws random numbers. But the ongoing influence of some powerful individuals has led to the denial of these requests, and the Milan Lotto still suffers for it. This video is about to get even crazier. Number 2. The Scandalous Scam, Britain, 2009 this one is a rather tragic tale of a flawed system, human greed, and unaccountability. In 2009, Britain's 2.5 million pound, which is about 3.3 million dollar, National Lottery Prize went unclaimed until someone came to pick it up. Edward Putman, a convicted rapist, learned about the prize details from Giles Nibs, an acquaintance of Putman's, who also worked at Camelot's fraud detection department. So knowing everything necessary to claim his prize, Putman bought a lottery ticket deleted the barcode and date, and didn't even try to make it look legitimate. But get this, Dame Diane Thompson, the Camelot chief executive at the time, didn't bother to question the ticket's authenticity and went so far as to call Putman personally, right before authorizing the release of the 2.5 million pound payout. Camelot paid dearly for the negligence. The Gambling Commission, an executive public body of the UK government that regulates gambling and supervises gaming law in Great Britain, fined them with three million pounds, which is a little more than four million dollars. Putman was indeed arrested, but he was released shortly after because of the weak legal case against him and a lack of concrete evidence. And finally, number one, the five-minute loophole, China, 2007. The Chinese government doesn't take lightly to lottery schemes and punishes lottery cheaters almost mercilessly. That's what occurred to Zhao Lekun, a lottery enthusiast from Anshan, China. The 37-year-old was sentenced to life in jail in 2007 with no chance of ever being released. Lekun spotted a big loophole in the Welfare Lottery 3D system, which is a daily game you can win by choosing the lottery-picked winning three-digit number. After the winning numbers are chosen, players can still buy and cash in lottery tickets, but they only have a five-minute window to do so. He capitalized on that opportunity, bought winning tickets, and claimed the prize from two or three lottery machines. However, his greed got to the better of him, and he ended up repeating the same process three times. And this tip-off is ultimately what aroused the suspicion of authorities, with the investigation leading to his eventual arrest. Lee Kun thought he was making a smart move by asking friends and family to cash in the winning tickets in his stead to avoid any relations to his clever scheme. However, his plan failed miserably, and in late 2006, he was detected by the authorities soon after scamming a ridiculous amount of $4 million. In January 2007, Zhao Li Kun was arrested and sentenced to a lifetime behind bars. To make matters worse, all of his property was confiscated by the government. Those were the five biggest lottery scandals that rocked the industry. Make sure you check out our video on the secrets the lottery doesn't want anyone knowing. You can check that out here. Which one of these scandals surprised you the most? And how would you feel if a friend tried rigging the game and tricking the lottery? Let me know in the comments below, millionaires. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Stay wealthy, and I'll see you on the next one.